Okay, today I want to follow up on the de-ringing of MOSFET power stages, which do behave quite differently to IGBT ones. So right now um, I have hooked up um, an unmodified power stage, just playing gate drivers, MOSFETs and nothing really added to it. And you can see the waveform right here and it looks pretty terrible high frequency ringing, um, so that's the phase output, that's not what it should look, look like. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that one. I'll just um, bring it a bit closer. So what you can see here is an RC snubber, it's pretty small parts. Not sure if it's actually focusing. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, so there's um, papers on the internet on how to calculate the values of the resistor and the capacitor. It's all pretty experimental. You just um, start out with just putting a capacitor across your, your MOSFET. So this is, uh, goes across the low side MOSFET. And that modifies the frequency of your ringing, and from that you can determine some internal values from the MOSFETs. Right. Okay, and then you can do the calculations. So what I have here is a 4.7 ohm resistor and a 10 nano capacitor. So let's hook that one up instead. Stop all the power supplies. And see what that does. Power supply is back on. And this is what we have. There is a small overshoot, but, um, well, there's quite an overshoot, but the ringing is gone just from these small components. Okay, that's all for today. I just wanted to follow up on this um, snubber topic because I left it kind of finished and unfinished in the last video. Thanks for watching and yeah, don't forget to like if you like it and check out the links uh, down in the description to my Patreon page if you want to support that kind of stuff going on. Thanks, bye bye.